national story from back home. JNU Students Union President Kanya Kumar, who is facing sedition charges, has moved to the Supreme Court today seeking bail on security grounds. He says he anticipates yet another attack on him and from inside prison. Meanwhile, protests against his arrest has spread across the country, with students taking to the streets in Kolkata, Hyderabad and Chennai in support of their peers in JNU. Things did turn ugly, though, in Kolkata when Jadavpur University students clashed with ABVP union members outside the university gate. There were protests against JNU students as well, with the ABVP students taking to the streets in Ahmedabad and Bengaluru. In the midst of all this, we spoke with the Delhi Police Commissioner B.S. Basi. He says there is enough evidence to charge Kanaiya Kumar with sedition. We have got sufficient material to prove the charges of um, of sedition. That is why when we produced him before the court after his arrest uh, and we produced the material available on the basis of material available the learned court remanded three days police custody. Thereafter when we again produced him before the learned court, the learned court uh, once again remanded two days police custody. Mm. So obviously the learned court when it exercises <coughs> its discretion mm. to uh, <coughs> order police custody hmm. this discretion is not exercised no, no, in that please kindly hmm. Hmm. it is not exercised in vacuum well that's the delhi chief uh, of police saying that uh, kanaya kumar is guilty of sedition and this is what they will prove in court but who exactly is kanaya kumar the person who's been in the eye of the storm for a week now and faces charges of sedition kamla sripada and shailaja varma get you more on the man Kanhaya Kumar arrived at the prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru University in 2011 to pursue an MPhil in international studies. For the 29-year-old from Bihar in Begusarai, popularly known as Bihar's Leningrad, joining the AISF, the Communist Party of India student wing, was perhaps natural. He stood for the JNU Students' Union elections and won in September last year. वो एकेडमिक्स में ही हुआ है हमारी पढ़ाई लिखाई के दौरान हुआ है क्योंकि वो एक स्टूडियस लड़का है कि उसके एक समझदारी है कि इस देश के अंदर पूरा प्रोग्रेसिव और साइंटिफिक सोच का होना और उसी को लेकर आगे बढ़ना एकेडमिक्स में भी जरूरी है और पॉलिटिक्स में भी इस नॉर्मल गाय नॉर्मल गाय हु इज अ पीएचडी स्कॉलर ओवर हियर स्टडीज डस पॉलिटिकल एक्टिविज्म एज वेल एज हैज अ पर्सनल लाइफ ऑफ हिज ओन गोज अराउंड हैज गॉट फ्रेंड्स अक्रॉस एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अक्रॉस एवरीवन अक्रॉस स्कूल्स सो हैप्पी गो लकी गाय Kanhaya is pursuing a PhD in social transformation in South Africa. While his career ambitions are not clear, his academic interest has been noted. Presented the synopsis, it has been approved, and now he's in the starting of his data collection and the beginning of his research. Okay, now his data collection. Data collection and you know, reading of uh, literature and collection of literature. That's the questions that you ask change because of the, your perspective. If you are coming from the sort of background that he comes from, for him it will be far more important to ask issues about you know, how society's transformation in the sense how marginal people can actually reach higher you know, echelons, how can they, how social mobility can take place. <laughs> The son of a farmer and an Anganwadi worker, Kanhaya's combative politics have been pro-poor. No matter what the immediate outcome of this tumultuous days of his life, his experience will pose deep questions for our society. <laughs> Well, that's the story of Kanaya Kumar, the man in the eye of the storm.